What's up guys and welcome back to a new video where we'll be diving a bit deeper into resources in Nova where we'll be looking at sorting, table styles, table click actions, pagination and soft deletes. Quick pause. Do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits such as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link can be found in the description down below. I want to start off by configuring a pretty important feature in Nova's table overview, which is sorting the table. At the moment, sorting has not been implemented. And it's pretty simple, just like a lot of other configurations. Nova allows the sortable method to the resource field where we want to enable sorting on. So let's navigate back to our product resource and let's add sorting on our text field of name, where we're going to chain a new method to it called sortable which basically allows us to sort the name column in either ascending or descending fashion. If we navigate back to Google Chrome, refresh it, you'll see that the arrow up and arrow down on the column title have been added. If we click on it, you'll see that a query has been added to the URI right here, where the product's order has been set to the field name, where the product's direction has been set equal to ascending. If we navigate back to PHPStorm, we should add our sortable method to a couple more fields. The second one is the price. So let's say sortable. Let's say on our SKU as well, the quantity. And finally on our status as well. So let's say sortable. If we navigate back to the browser and refresh it, you'll see that we added the arrow up and arrow down for sorting on all of our columns. Now, if we try to search for an item, so let's say iPhone, you'll see that we're not finding any records, even though we added a product with the name of iPhone. If we add the ID of let's say two, you'll see that we indeed find one row where the ID is equal to two. Now, this basically means that the search has been implemented based on the ID. Now this can be modified right inside of our product resource class. You'll find a new property at the top named search right here, which has a value of an array. At the moment, we're saying that it should search on the ID, but we can also add the name, the description, and also the SKU. If we navigate back to Google Chrome, let's say we want to search for test. You'll see that we have two products because the description of both products are test. If we say the SKU of 494, we have one row and on the name of iPhone, we'll find two rows. Now, if you think that Nova uses too much space inside table rows and you want to show more rows below each other, you could overwrite a property from the resource class. Right now, you'll see that it has a lot of spacing above and below iPhone. So let's get rid of that. Let's navigate back to PHPStorm and let's define a new property, which is public static table style. Now the value needs to be equal to tight. If we navigate back, refresh it, you'll see that a lot of spacing has been removed from the top and bottom of a row. This is very interesting whenever you want to add many rows below each other. It also allows you to overwrite the default styling of the column itself. So it basically will add column borders to make it more clearer. This can be done by creating a new property or basically overriding the property, excuse me, of public static show column borders, which needs to be set equal to true. If we save it, test it out, you'll see that it has added borders all around the table headers and the table rows. I'm not really a fan of it, so let's just comment out both of them. All right. If we navigate back and click on one specific row, you'll see that we have been redirected to the product data of a specific post. Now, most of the data right here is also visible inside the table. So I find it a bit overkill to be redirected to this page. Nova allows you to change the behavior of your click through another property that you could overwrite from the resource class. Let's add it right here. Public static click action, which needs to be equal to a string. Now there are multiple options that you could add right here. The first one is the default one. Then we have the edit page. So you could directly edit a resource once you click on it. 
you could have a option of select. And let's actually navigate to the browser so I could show you what I mean with this. If we click on products in the nav bar, click on one item, you'll see that we're selecting it. Or we could select multiple. But navigate back, remove select, and add preview right here, which will show you the preview of a product. And finally, we have ignore, which pretty much turns off the click event. So if we try to click on one row right now, you'll see that we don't have that option. Personally, I find it nice to work with a product that directly goes to the edit page. So let's replace ignore with edit because the most important fields are also filled in with default values. If we navigate back, refresh it and click on one resource, you'll see that we have been redirected to the edit page or update page of one specific product. As you could see at the bottom of a table, Nova added pagination, where you have a previous button, the amount of pages, and a next button. Next to this pagination type or styling, it offers three more pagination styles that you can integrate. Keep in mind that changing the pagination will change the pagination on all tables, since it needs to be added inside the Nova configuration file, which makes the changes globally. So let's navigate to PHP Storm, search for nova.php, and let's search for pagination. All right, right here, you'll see a pagination type of simple, which is the default one. The second one is the links. If we navigate back to Google Chrome, refresh it, you'll see that it basically added the links in the bottom left corner. And I'm actually not really a fan of this one, but I do really enjoy using the last one. So let's navigate back, remove links, and let's add load dash more. If we navigate back, refresh it, You'll see in all resources have been loaded and we can't really show it right here, but I'll do that in one minute because it allows you to override a property named per page options where you can pass in an array of values that the user can choose from when working with pagination. So let's do that. Let's navigate back to our Nova product and let's define a public static per page options property, which is equal to let's say one. We're just adding one right here because we have two rows inside of our database. If we refresh it, you'll see that it's showing one, but it adds an option right here where we could load one more. And right here, you'll see that it has been added inside the same table rather than going to another page. I do not want to add more than one, obviously. So let's say that the steps needs to be 50, 100, and 150. Now these steps will be added in the dropdown right here where you could see per page, 50, 100, and 150. If we delete rows from our application right now, they will be deleted for good. Now adding the soft delete functionality to your application doesn't necessarily have anything to do with Nova, but once you implement it inside your application, Nova will recognize it and it will add the front end based on it. So let's implement it. We do need to create a new migration since we do need to add the soft deletes column inside our table. So let's navigate back to the CLI for a moment and let's run the PHP artisan make me a new migration named add underscore soft underscore delete underscore two underscore products underscore table. And we're also gonna define a table right to it of double dash table is equal to products. Let's hit enter. All right, it has created the migration for us. So let's navigate to PHP Storm. Let's search for add underscore soft. All right, this is our migration. And we're simply gonna add the table soft deletes right here. Now let's navigate back to the CLI and let's run PHP artisan migrate to migrate our tables. All right, it has added a new column to our products table. The next step is adding Larvo its soft delete trait on the model where you want to implement soft deletes on. Where we want to implement it on will be the model forward slash product, where we already have one trait right here. So let's add a comma and let's add the soft delete trait of our database eloquent, which we need to pull in. Now, by simply adding the soft delete trait, our soft deletes functionality has been implemented. If we navigate back to Google Chrome, refresh it. Let's try to delete the iPhone 14 Max. It's prompting us with a warning. So let's say delete. All right, as you could see, it has been deleted from our overview. 
But if we open the drop down option right here, you'll see a new option that has been created based on the soft delete functionality that we just implemented, where we could choose our products based on the trashed or only trashed. So if we say only trashed, you'll see that our iPhone 14 Max is still visible and our delete icon to the right has been replaced with a restore icon. If we click on it, you'll see that it's prompting us with a confirmation whether we really want to restore it. So let's say yes. So we have no trashed products anymore. So let's say with trashed. And right here, our iPhone 14 Max has been restored. And this is actually something I really like about Nova. It basically creates functionalities based on functionalities that you create inside your code. Now this was it for this episode where we dived into some resource configurations in Laravel Nova. In the next video, we're going to dive a bit deeper into resources since we're going to add relationships to it. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.